Okay, today on Maths Kitchen, I'm gonna be talking a bit about mathskitchen.com, which is the website that I've recently started that sits alongside this YouTube channel. And the purpose of the website is really exactly the same as this channel, which is to help you with your maths. Um, and like this channel, there's a bit of a focus on GCSE maths, in particular, helping you prepare for your exams. So on the website, there are loads of questions that you can practice. You get instant feedback. You can see whether you got them right or wrong. Um, and if you're struggling, you can look at the model answers. There are even video walkthroughs for some of the questions. And even more amazing than that is it's very, very clever. It learns kind of what level that you're working at. The more you go on it, the more it understands the level that you're working at, and it starts to give you questions at around about just the right level that you need to be practicing. So today's video is a pretty quick run through of how you can use that site to get the very most out of it. So if we head over to mathskitchen.com, you can see you've got these various different options on the home page here. If this is your first visit to the site, probably a sensible thing to do is to carry out an assessment to take the test. It's then asking us for a bit more information so you can put in your current year group. I'm, let's say I'm year 11 and I'm gonna go with the higher tier and I'm doing Edexcel um, and I've got 10 minutes. So I'm in the assessment, you can see that I've got a thirds question here. Well, I'm not gonna go through the question now, but I think that all expands to give us 12 minus two root three. So X will be 12 and Y would be minus two. Let's see if that is correct. Yes, I got three out of three marks. Now, let's say I wasn't able to do that. I was struggling. I can just click on the solution and you can see that it's giving us the model answer there. It's showing us how we can do that, okay? I'm gonna quickly go through this assessment and I'll come back to you in a second when I've completed it to show you the next stage. So you can see I've got to the end of the test there and if I click on the progress button it's going to take me through to the progress page where I can see my grade and I can see my recommendations. Now you only get your grade or your recommendations if you log in. Welcome back James Wilmot um, and you can click on your grade so you can see based on that assessment in fact based on all the work I've done so far it's saying that I'm working at a level six and recommendations will tell me the things that it's suggesting that I should work on next. Now, there's a huge caveat here, which is that the level that it's telling you is obviously just an estimate. And particularly if it's your first assessment, the, it, we don't have that much information to go on, all right? So it's a, it's a bit of a guess. And certainly if we're saying that you've got, you know, as I've got here, for example, a level six, that doesn't mean that you're definitely, you're gonna go and get a level six in your exam. You may well get better, you may get worse. Um, so we're just making a bit of a guess based on quite a small amount of information. So bear that in mind. Um, underneath, you can see a list of all the topics that I've tried and you, the ones that I've done well. You can see in green there, the ones that I need to do a bit more practice that I either got wrong or I missed out some marks on on the left-hand side there um, in the sort of yellowy orange. And then underneath, we've got questions that we haven't done, but we're making a bit of a guess based on the questions that you have done, we're making a bit of a guess about the things we think you're gonna be okay with and the things you're not gonna be okay with. Okay, so you've done your assessment, you've had a look at the progress page, you've got a nice bit of feedback there. Well, what next? I would recommend having a look at the five a day. This is something you can log on every day, do five questions, and they're gonna be five questions that are around about the level that you're working at based on the assessment that you've done and based on any other work that you've done on the website. So the more you visit, the more accurate that becomes, okay? So five a day, as you'd imagine, you're gonna be looking at five exam questions every day, which is probably gonna take you 10 or 20 minutes, something like that. So not too much, uh, but just enough to keep everything ticking over and keep you moving in the right direction. What else can a website do? Well, let's say you know you need to revise a particular thing. Let's say you need to look at completing the square. Um, if you go to the topics page, you can either select stuff from the menus down here, or you can type in to search for the topic. So completing the square, and you can see that it comes up there, and you can select that, get the questions, and you can see that we have four questions on completing the square. This is question one of four, and you complete that in just the same way you complete all the other questions. Um, mark it, and it, that all goes to add towards your overall kind of level and our overall assessment of where you're working at. Um, 
So the website is definitely still in development. So there aren't questions on absolutely everything. And on some topics, there's only perhaps one or two questions. And we're constantly adding questions. So if you're looking for something and it's not there, or if you've looked for something and there's only one or two questions and you've done those, check back in you know a week or two um, as you progress through your revision. And it may well be that we've added some more in that time. The last thing then to show you, uh, is the exam tips. So if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, you'll know that recently in particular, I've been doing videos that are more sort of for general kind of GCSE type help. And for each of those, I've put a set of questions specific to those videos, and that's on these exam tips pages. Okay, so there are you know, between sort of eight and 10 questions for each of those things. Um, I've got one on ratios, forming and solving equations, changing the subject of a formula all that sort of stuff. So that's a website. It fits in hopefully with your revision because it's just the perfect place to practice exam style questions and questions from past papers, which is exactly what you need to be doing. And little and often logging on every day, 10 or 20 minutes every day is so much better than saving it all up and saying, right, I'm going to do three hours on a Sunday or whatever. Just keep plugging away at it every day. And hopefully this is really, really helpful for you to do that. It's, you can use it on tablets, on mobile devices. So you can log on any way you like. You can be doing it on the bus on the way home. Just get 10 minutes worth of questions done. Really, really efficient way of revising. So that's mathskitchen.com. Hopefully a really useful revision resource for you. It's still very much in development, as I said, but we really value your feedbacks. So if there are, you might spot a mistake even, um, or if there are questions that you really need on the site that aren't there, let us know on the feedback page. It really, really, it helps us and it helps all the other users because we just want to get it better and better and get it as useful as possible for you and everyone else to practice their revision and to do as well as they can in their GCSE exams. Okay, as ever, keep working hard, keep practicing, um, and I shall see you next week.